It's an unfortunate reality for car owners. Sometimes another driver hits you and you have to get your car fixed. Dealing with their insurance company can be a hassle. And once you get your car, though, to a body shop, you hope you're one step closer to getting back to normal. But several people in our area tell us that's when their troubles actually really started. WTOC's investigative reporter Max Deeknight explains. They're different people with different cars damaged at different times, but they all told us the same story. They took their car to Hernandez Collision Center, where it sat for months, unfixed, racking up charges in what they now call car jail. I felt like it was in jail. I mean, there's so many cars out there that are on that parking lot and they are in jail like they can't get out. This is what Heather Hurst's Toyota 4Runner looked like after someone rear ended her two years ago. The other driver was at fault. Every shop she called told her it would be months before they could fit her in, all except one, Hernandez Collision Center. They said they could take her car that day. Hopeful she dropped it off. She calls it the worst mistake of her life. I had no idea a business could take your vehicle and never give it back. A document show her car sat in Hernandez's lot off Ogeechee Road for six weeks unrepaired and racking up fees. When she decided she wanted to take it somewhere else, they sent her this bill for nearly $6,000. The shop listed off storage and estimate fees, including a more than $1,200 administrative fee for things like answering the phone and greeting the customer. And, you know, I had thought, well, I'll bring a credit card and I'll dispute it, but no, she said, we don't take credit cards. We take only cashier checks. Hearst didn't realize it, but Hernandez's consent form, which she signed, states in small, fine print, the shop does not accept credit cards or personal checks. Customers tell us it's also an arbitration agreement, meaning if you sign it, it's much harder to sue them. Hearst ended up paying this $5,000 cashier's check just to get her unrepaired car back. Progressive Insurance called Hernandez's charges, quote, not usual or customary. But it didn't end there. After Hearst talked to us last month, Hernandez sued her. He also sued one of our other sources, who then asked not to be named in our story because she now has litigation hanging over her head. Neither lawsuit accuses either of the women of making any false statements to us or anyone else about how Hernandez treated them. Instead, they claim the women violated that arbitration agreement by seeking extrajudicial remedies. I found Hernandez is no stranger to lawsuits. In fact, the shop has been involved in more than 120 other civil cases in Chatham County alone. In most of those cases, Hernandez sued its customers for abandoning their cars. It was just a windshield. That's it. Jill Morris says she feared she'd never get her husband's brand new Chevy Impala back after taking it to Hernandez for a cracked windshield last year. Two months and more than $4,000 later, they finally drove it home. We just pretty much demanded our car. I think they were tired of us. Taniqua Grimsley says her Ford Focus also sat for more than two months at Hernandez's Hinesville location. It had minor bumper damage after someone hit her. She says Hernandez also charged nearly $4,000 for the repair. Imagine getting into a car wreck, you're already stressed out, and the people that's supposed to help you are making it 10 times worse. Grimsley says she tried to sue the shop, but a judge threw the case out, citing that arbitration agreement. We took it to the Better Business Bureau. It seems to be designed to extract the most possible revenue out of every customer that comes through the front door. BBB Southeast Atlantic Office President Tom Stevens says he's never heard of such high fees for an estimate. And he says the fact Hernandez won't take credit cards is a red flag. Because that means they've been beset with chargebacks over the years because of their pricing or because of their practices or whatever. And so they just refuse to to take them. All three women encourage others to be cautious and avoid shops like Hernandez Collision Center because they're going to find a way to get your money. And if they don't get your money, they're going to keep your car.
I contacted Hernandez Collision Center as I was putting this story together. Their attorney, Benjamin O'Neill, called me back. I sent him a list of specific questions and paperwork backing up multiple complaints. They did not answer my questions, though, and instead said they could not comment on pending lawsuits.